Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's also the world's most frustrating game to play when you can't seem to make the lost shenanigans work for you. Um, last, last video, or at least, like, the last video might be a daily. Statistically speaking, it's probably a daily. Probabilistically speaking, it's probably a daily, but, um... We could probably try to roll with this. You know, the cards might work out in, uh, in our favor here. He could get, even get some uh, Joker cards out of it that might facilitate some good stuff. Uh, this is the smallest floor I've ever seen. I guess I'll show you the seed. X6RPE66V. But as I was saying, uh, last run was amazing. If we were, you know, old school Isaac, or old school Rebirth, I should say, and we were only trying to uh, make sure that we actually won a game as the Lost, in which case we'd say, wow, amazing, Holy Mantle you know, really carried us, but instead, we've really got to facilitate that Mega Satan, let's just call it what it is, Shikaka, the Mega Satan Guano, the Mega Satan Drek. I have a surprising amount of uh, familiarity with uh, euphemisms for human shit, apparently, but uh, it didn't work. We never got to deal with the angel in the last run. Apparently, I also got to, I think it was on the subreddit today. Somebody posted a message in the mess. Oh, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. The message said, um, you know, when you donate to the donation machine, it only raises your chance of a deal with the angel on the floor of which you'd made the donations in the first place. This is extremely unfortunate. <laughs> it means that we don't have a cumulative bonus for donating. But what it also means is that, you know, knowledge is power, right? So we should stop donating on floor two and primarily donate maybe, like, with an aim to peak at floor four. Oh, good. Here, the Hierophant. Um, you might be thinking, why not floor three? Well, floor three, you know, has its value. Okay, give me a second here. Freaking gotta close this G-chat window. Like, I care at all about the messages you're sending me, my dearest friends of all time. Um, but, uh, hopefully that'll help our frame rate out a little bit. Sometimes Isaac's weird with, you know, other stuff that uses Windows Arrow, but, um... Yeah, we, we want to peak on Floor 4. It may be Floor 5, but by then you're getting a little bit late, is my thinking. And the reason that I, I'm saying Floor 4 is because Floor 2, you will get a deal with the Devil. It, it's basically immutable, you can't change it. Uh, floor... Five, or sorry, floor four, you have a 75% chance of getting a deal if you could wing it or swing it so that that deal has to be or has a greater chance of being a deal with the angel. That would probably be for the best. I don't think this is worth using our uh, Empress card. As much as it pains me to say so, because I would really, really like to not have to um, fight this guy with base damage. I think we're better off saving our Empress card. You never know what we might fight on next floor or future floor. Anyway, um, yeah, it, it seems to make sense. You know, roll the dice on floor four if possible. Floor three, maybe you've got a chance at it, but you still have that, you know, deal with the angel chance regardless. If we're only going to get to donate once, we might as well do it on the fourth floor, assuming that that person's comment was indeed correct. Which, I, I have no reason to, to fuck with that right now. We might as well assume that it's correct, because it's not like uh, I've been winning lost runs nonstop. We could actually use some important feedback. A luck upgrade that also comes with keys is uh, positive to me, but of course, it's not as good as something like a DPS upgrade, and we have zero of those so far, so... I find myself uh, at least slightly concerned about our, our future probability here, possibility of victory here, but... We did make the last run work. There were times on the last run where it didn't really look like we had a, an absolute, you know, certainty that we could even beat Blue Baby, but we made it happen. Wasn't really a struggle on the last run, but there were times when it was just uncertain. We found ourselves largely safe, though. Figured it, it was also largely safe to use a bomb to blow up that slot machine, and we got, like, the literal safest payout out of it that we possibly could have, a single bomb. Not even, uh, you know, a BOGO bomb or something like that. We do have a red heart as well, so if we somehow manage to get Dark Bomb for free, I'll be stoked. But, uh, apart from that, probably not liable to make um, too much use out of that. So six keys, um... I will use a bomb here. It'll kill the enemies, which is a big part of it, but also gives us the opportunity to come in here. High Priestess is great for our boss fight. We can keep the Empress. Magic Fingers is not quite good enough to settle for. Uh, even if that's Bloody Lust, which it isn't, I wouldn't want it, but it's anemic. I mean, I would want it, but I wouldn't want it that much. I don't know this one. I mean, I've, I've seen it before, but I don't remember what it does, so I'm almost like, let's just go 
for Broke here. I mean, Scatter Bombs does give us five extra bombs, but I am happy. Toxic Shock is going to be probably the best thing we could have expected there. Um, clear out a lot of these rooms, you know, basically instantly without us having to do anything. That's positive in my eyes, and uh, it's not a DPS upgrade, but it does, you know, greatly increase our ability to actually clear a room, which is even more valuable. Let's kill Little Horn instantly if possible, and we get some pills. Inside of here, uh, two items we would love to take if we could, but we can't. Full health. Bombs are key. I found pills. And a speed downgrade. <laughs> Come on. Um, well, it's not good. I mean, that's obvious. But we can leave this floor, and we're not really leaving too much behind by leaving this floor. It's not like we care about an arcade or anything like that, so we'll get a move on and hopefully be in a, a position to, to make moves in the future here. It's probably worth it. I mean, Toxic Shock is not going to do anything for us here, which is the, the biggest piss-off, but... Apart from that, we should be able to kill these enemies. And, you know, Little Chest, I don't fully understand. But I seem to have, in my head, a nice, like, positive opinion of it. And I trust my subconscious. I don't think my subconscious would, uh... Would steer me wrong. Let's try not to get hit here, though. I mean, there's no reason for us to even be at all in harm's way. We don't need to be close to these enemies in the least, but uh, it would be nice if maybe we could kill one of them. Uh, probably both of them are like two hits away or something. Well, maybe that was wishful thinking. I think it's fair to say that we're in the market for a DPS upgrade right now. Now, does Toxic Shock also make it so when you kill something, they drop uh, like a poison puddle underneath them? Because that would be really useful for this enemy right here. Uh, yeah, that's exactly how that went down. So we did live. Hold on, I gotta check something. Maybe an urgent Skype message. That is not an urgent Skype message. Did you know in life, you either slang crack rock or have a wicked jump shot? Never forget. Alright, that's. I'm glad I alt-tabbed to look at that. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you who said it. It might reflect poorly on their character. But, uh, suffice it to say, it's not an urgent message uh, in the interim period. I will get back and, you know... Complete the lyric later, perhaps, if necessary. Terrible use of a bomb. Uh, that was even worse because it almost killed us. So I'll tell you what, that's enough for now. No more bombs necessary. I'm just pissed because like our damage is so bad that it's taken us a hundred years to kill these uh, fat bat Tomo flies. Uh, we shouldn't do that yet. We should be able to come in here. You know what? I hate it, so we'll do this. You know what? I hate it, so we'll leave. And after we finish this room, it should be, like, nearly instant. How can these guys take four hits after getting poisoned? Like, that that makes no sense to me. We get a devil card. That's good. Good. Uh, Mom's Pearl is good, too. I almost... I In fact, I think I may have died there if I got hit. I just can't remember if we got hit, because uh, my, my mind purged it after we cleared all the enemies. Because I was like, surely I'm not in danger now. It turns out I was still in danger. I didn't realize. High Priestess again, absolutely. You know what, just explode. Might as well. Lover's card, okay. I don't know why I put on my pirate voice for that. What is this one? Wheel of Fortune. Tell you what, blow that up right away. Alrighty. Well, um, we continue to kind of slog our way through these floors. Again, I'm stoked that we have Toxic Shock. It, as you can see, it's really proving it's you know worth right now. Every single one of these regular sized diglets is just dying in one hit. The fancier diglets are like five or six hitters, which is kind of ridiculous. Did they not get hit by Toxic Shock at the start? I didn't realize, I mean, I knew there was a, a difference in the amount of HP they had. I didn't think it was quite that high. We get an Emperor card, also really good. But uh, I'm not sure, we, we can only choose one to take with us when we leave, so not sure which one that'll be right now. We desperately need some kind of DPS upgrade. This is only Caves 1. Like, I thought maybe it was XL, but I think what's actually happening is it's just taking flipping forever. Good stuff. You know, every time you break something, it is leaving a puddle on the ground. It's like a little mysterious liquid bonus all by itself. It only happens once, not for every tier, but still. That is doing uh, more damage than I'd like it to have to do, if that makes sense. Kind of sounded like I was uttering some kind of ancient inc incantation there, you know. More damage than I'm lucky to have to do. But still, it is, uh, it's, it's driving a lot here. 
We could donate some money on this floor. Um, again, floor four is probably where I'm looking to peak there. I know probably peak is some kind of narcotical slang for the young kids these days. I, I would appreciate not uh, misinterpreting my words. I'm talking about peak as in the P-I-Q-U-E sense, as in to peak your interest. Like a fine amuse-bouche or something of the sort, you know? Like a, a bone mo from your favorite dinner party, dinner party partner. Um, what do we have here? Lockdown. That's like, not very good. I mean, it's a net negative. That pr this is pretty much non-negotiable. Uh, I think against Chad, I will use High Priestess now that I've been hit. Before I had been hit, I didn't see the need so much. Now that I've been hit, uh, I understand. I'm a little pissed that I won't have it for the Angel Statue if we uh, do end up getting one here, but at least we'll finish this fight without getting killed, which is a positive thing. Come on, don't doom me. Oh, we have an Angel Statue. I think we might as well use it and just see if we get something awesome. We didn't really. Oh, what the heck? Sensor. I haven't had this item in forever. Doesn't it slow anything within like a certain range of it? By the way, don't get your hopes up too much. I'm pretty sure that as a result of those speed down, well that speed down earlier, I'm probably not going to be able to live. I will probably die right here. Yep, there we go. And I'll start another run. Hit me with your best shit. Welcome to uh, Life of the Lost, apparently, trying to play Isaac and get the Mega Satan victory. At this point, I know I promised variety. It'll still come, but I'm like, I feel like I'm in the zone. But also, the game is being a fucking asshole. Isaac has been terrible from an RNG standpoint over these Lost runs lately. I know a lot of people probably say, oh, finally, NL gets a taste of his own medicine. Oh, boo, boo. Well... You know, I hope you enjoy it, because this is, uh, it's, it's pretty much hell on earth. Um, well, it's not hell on earth. It's an annoying part of a video game. Let's not blow it too far out of proportion, but it's, uh, it's, it can be tedious, especially on that last run where it looked like we had a genuine chance at, uh, the actual victory. But that's the way the cookie crumbles, you know, that's what makes it an achievement for better or for worse. Why am I sticking with this run? Because, uh, I really do feel like Attack Fly... Basically gives us like six or seven, well, that's ridiculous. It probably gives us like four floors of leeway to get a better DPS upgrade. Um, for now, we can feel pretty good, especially with Holy Mantle, about using Attack Fly for pretty much everything, to be honest with you. As long as we find ourselves, uh, you know, not really in that much of a, a risky situation, what do we care about? You know, it's just free damage. And a syringe to give us speed, plus a little closer to spun, is good. Also, shot speed up compensates for some items that can otherwise be bad. Um, you know, Dead Onion, for example. Uh, you know, then now we can just get the benefit out of Dead Onion instead of worrying about all the, the riffraff. So, just keep yourself going here. I mean, if we can beat Super Envy or just regular Envy without um, getting hit exclusively using our orbital. I think that's a pretty good sign that we can use this as as predominantly our damage source. I'm treating this as basically like a Ludovico technique right now. And it's working out really nicely. That could change in a heartbeat, though. I mean, pretty soon, we're not going to want to be so close to these enemies. Especially after we get hit once on a room. But even just like some drive-by damage is uh, it's better than nothing. And I think I'm I'm kind of exercising my demons, you know, EXOR sizing. Uh, what do we got here? Kane's other eye. What a terrible pickup. Technically does synergize with uh, BFFs if we can pick that up, but still terrible. Um, I'm exercising my demons of not having so much damage on the run where we just had and died. So uh, forgive me for being a little bit giddy at the fact that I can actually, you know, kill enemies in like a single tick thanks to this uh, attack fly. I'm very happy to have it. One bomb. I think we save it for now. We're fighting a, a relatively easy boss if you have an orbital. So I don't feel the need to use Burkano. It's not really the kind of thing we also need to worry about saving, but we might as well if we can. Easy kills. Toothpicks is a good pickup. We don't want what's in here anyway. Well, I mean, we do, but we can't take it. This is feeling pretty good. I'm, I'm doing my best. I mean, I, I feel like when we make this lost Mega Satan run work, it's going to be making something out of nothing. I hope it is, because we put in the fucking time. And uh, normally I'd say flipping or something like that. 
Not that I, I shy away from swearing on YouTube or anything of the sort, but you know, I, tr I try to be a little bit more uh, erudite with my um, with my diction sometimes. But this warrants a fuck, if you will. Uh, the runs that we've been having, we've been trying to basically make a mountain out of a molehill, which normally has negative connotations. But I'm using it in a positive way to be, you know, deliberately subversive, I guess. Um, it's frustrating because you know we will get like 90% of the recipe, but for whatever reason. We're, you know, incapable of finishing the final 10%, whether it's beating Mega Satan or having the ability to fight Mega Satan to begin with. We're doing almost all the work, but not following through. Um, I hope that we have a run that's hard as shit and we win anyway. Because, honestly, we deserve to get a little bit of credit for this gauntlet that we've been through. And if we end up having a run that's just like, hey, first item room, mom's knife, second item room, you know, nine lives or something like that. I, I know that's... Unlikely or even impossible, but um, you know people will just be like wow look he got a gift to him on a silver platter Yo, we've been here. I came from the mud. I, I didn't actually come from the mud At least I hope not. I wouldn't know if I was a mud person I don't even mean that in like a super like bigoted way mostly. I just don't understand what it means to be honest with you um, No <laughs> I was like I'm not going out like that Not right now anyway we do have toothpicks, so it's not like we've got no like offensive punch here. We have a little offensive punch. Very little, but but some. And you know what? Like an angel statue is not gonna stand up to too much uh guardian fly action, so. Let's just pop her Kano. I'm gonna take temperance with me, because we could use temperance uh and blow it up at the same time that we blow up the angel statue. Doesn't have to be right now. If it is, you know, even better, but doesn't have to be right now, but it's all about, well, it's not all about, but one thing that's nice is getting, like, double the value out of your consumables here, especially when they're somewhat limited, which I would describe seven bombs as somewhat limited. Okay, good. HP is worthless, of course, but inside our deal with the devil, we get Celtic Cross, which is completely worthless for us. But then we got 12 cents out of our Temperance card, so there's something to be said about that one. Didn't get hit there. Oh, fuck. I got hit. Why does it always have to be small angel rooms, man? Not that we don't have the speed necessary, but it just takes a certain extra level of, of attention to detail to make it work. I blew myself up because I, I faked myself out. I'm so fucking mad. Why do I have to fight exclusively tiny room deal with the angel. It's so fucking annoying. Look at this. We can't take it. I don't know. Do you take it and hope to get dad's key? A lot of people would probably say yes. I don't think so. I think we gotta... I'm losing my mind. One thing's for sure. Uh, win or lose. Oh, yeah, definitely. The mind. Win or lose, this is gonna be the last fucking lost run for a while. I'll tell you that much. If we win, I'm not touching the lost for quite some time. If we lose, I gotta take a little break. Uh, I, I'm just... Like, at this point, I'm like, I need a morale booster. I don't feel like I've lost one runs. Like, I don't feel like I've had a room I've walked into and been like, Oh, poopy fart butts, I got hit by, you know, dingle twice and lost. On a run where I shouldn't have had that happen. Instead, what is happening is, like, I walk into an angel room and I'm like, Oh... Good news, the deal with the angel and the boss room preceding it completely sucked in terms of items that actually make any statistical difference as the lost. And then, uh, also, it's a tiny room, also, your bombs do no damage, also, you're dead. So, I mean, I do, I feel bad that I blew myself up with that bomb earlier. Oh, good. I feel bad that I blew myself up with that bomb earlier, but I was, my hand was fairly forced, if you ask me. And you may or may not, you know. Talk amongst yourselves, that's okay too, but I'm starting to feel like, I, I don't buy the idea that like, oh, the time's not right for this, but I need like a little bit of a morale boost, I think. Well, our secret room is here somewhere. Oh, okay, so it's in the spot where I placed the bomb earlier. Fair enough. Um, 10 cents, could go to our shop again. I don't think there's much need to do that right now. We'll check in on it later. Uh, the mind is a terrible thing to waste, so we're gonna hope that we don't get too many curses that, uh, you know, make it largely unusable. For now, this plus the screw, same, uh, stats up as the torn photo. 
So that's something that I have to be very positive about. Can't be negative about that one. Come back here. No more golden bombs. Uh, you can really notice the difference in terms of our uh, in terms of our uh, DPS right now. This feels much better. So we get Swallowed Penny, which I don't think affects us with Torn... Not Torn Photo, but uh, Holy Mantle. So it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Yes, there is a uh, secret room there, but we don't have any bombs. And there is a double key room there, but we only have two keys right now. We definitely 100% need to go to our item room. If we get more keys, we can go back to the, the double key room and, you know, see what they have on offer there. I see a bomb and a key. Um, we'd probably do double key room over our shop. It's not a dice room. It's uh, some kind of consumable room, which, you know, for better or for worse. Actually, now I'm looking at it. I'm like, maybe we want to save a key for the shop. It's another attack fly. This one uh, a little further away, maybe. I don't know. It's a different color. It doesn't mean anything necessarily, but um, we uh, will, I don't know. I don't want to sound too demoralized. I'm not really demoralized. I'm just tired. Like, I could be moralized pretty fucking quickly. If you just hooked me up with some sweet-ass actual items. Like, if I got magic mush from this room right now, I'd be like, I'm feeling pretty moralized. Good attack fly. Good attack fly. The attack fly continues to be good. Fantastic. You know what? That's great as well. Thank you for growth hormones. We can't take those items, so let's not even let temptation get the better of us. I think we'll work our way to the shop here. No tinted rocks. Okay, I got hit, so just, you know, step away, basically. In here, we got blue candle, which absolutely, we should take blue candle. There's something to be said about glowing hourglass, letting us, you know, teleport out after we get hit with holy mantle. But I think blue candle's better for us. Oh, if you give me magic mush here. You're feeling it, right? I'm feeling it. Oh, it's the... <laughs> We also got a little closer to Halo of Flies, which is not that meaningful, but... Holy shit, we got Magic Mush. Okay. Uh, we have a problem. I can't get into the... Wait, is it 7 cents for Blue Candle? Oh, baby. Okay. This is not a win. Don't start thinking this is a win. But it is the best damage-wise run we've had probably since we started doing this Lost Grind. So... Oh... Feels slightly better. Yeah, yeah, five extra bombs is very important. Now, I'm looking over here and I'm saying, oh, what do we have? Some sort of library. Oh, no, it's not a library. Could be a crawl space. You know, if we have five bombs, I think it's worth three to check if it's a crawl space. The body does nothing for us. Let's give our money instead of our bombs because we may need one on this floor. Kamikaze is terrible for us. Lost Protector is really bad. Let's use one bomb. Yeah, Syringe is good enough to take because it also gives us uh, one step closer to spun. Now we're only one away. Plenty of ways to make that happen. We'll still have a bomb left over. It is, of course, uh, a ladder. The ladder opens us up to AAA battery, which I don't think does anything for us, but it could do something for us in the future, whereas Swallowed Penny does nothing for us forever. So um, that, that seems like a pretty much a no-brainer choice. We have to keep our other bomb. Do not use it to find the secret room. I'm speaking specifically to myself right here. Here's our seed, by the way. Y2EDYFG3. I probably will not remember to put that in the description because we have an earlier seed that shows up, but uh, if you're watching along at home and you want to play, hopefully that's kind of a happy medium for you. Okay, one key. I mean, I'd like to use it on the shop to give ourselves a chance to donate, but unless we can go to the secret room, donating is probably going to be something I'll consider like a secondary concern, because I only have two cents. Making great time as well. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that's not really that important for us right now, but it's possible it'll be a relevant concern at some point in the future. Good to know. No consequence paralysis pill, as far as I'm concerned, is a very positive thing. We learned a little bit about the world around us without having to sacrifice anything at all. That was perfect. Um, yeah, again, no reason to go to the shop quite yet. But, now, oh, I'll, I'll pick that up. But now that we have more bombs, we can use one there. Takes us up to eight cents, nine cents on this room. Then we go into our shop. And we donate as much as they'll let us donate. 
two cents. Fantastic. Lovely. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot for your service. Um, you've done a great thing for this country. Now, if you can go fuck yourself and come back with more capacity, that would be awesome. Because right now, uh, you're not really uh, working for me as much as you're uh, working me over. Working me for? Doesn't really make any sense. You know, there's a pun in there somewhere, maybe. There's a tinted rock in here, definitely. And not small rocks, so we don't really care too much, but there's our second bomb. I do love having an extra orbital. You know, it, it always helps you out when you least expect it. Either it gives you an extra damage push when somebody gets close to you, or, you know, it blocks a shot from across the map. No deal with the angel. So in a way, I kind of feel like we're... We're definitely still, like, trucking along here. We're, we're, we're super in this. And the orbital was a meaningful pickup from our, uh, from our boss. Which, of course, we were gonna get. Like, it's, it's the boss that pays you out with an orbital. Two bombs. Uh, you know what? At this point, why even blow up mushrooms? We already have magic mush. Could get pills, but it, it, one of the major things has been, one of the major coups for doing that has been taken away. So, it's less important, I think. It's like an ideal room to be the lost. We can fly. We've got good damage. We got orbitals at various distances. And we have Holy Mantle. So one lapse in judgment isn't going to kill us. Beautiful. Lard. Uh, at this point, a speed downgrade for absolutely no benefit? That doesn't sound like something I'd like. I said at this point, but what I really mean is at any point. Tell you what. Bomb our way out of here. Since we can see everything. Might as well pop that justice card. Get another bomb out of it. Um, perks is okay. Power pill. Would have been nice to know. A luck upgrade is very good though. And then in here it doesn't look like we have anything that we want. But we do have a uh, shortcut to our boss. This is going to make this floor very, very short. Let's see what we got. Dark one. Not necessarily a super easy boss fight. We've already got him mostly dead. Considering that we have, you know, Holy Mantle, it's probably going to be hard to surmount at this point. And this strategy is working out very nicely for us, but it has to pay out, and it did not pay out here. Still no deal with the Angel. I don't know if my heart can take another, you know, like, good run that doesn't culminate in, in a Mega Satan play, man. It's so... Well, I hate to reuse the word, but it's demoralizing. I don't need to be... I don't need to have my morals any more D. Doesn't really make any sense, but you know the the sentiment remains the same. Oh, you are still alive. Um, just trying to think about how I approach this situation here. I mean, I guess how about fuck you? That's a pretty good one. Yeah, we get a bomb out of it. We can save one room by uh, and blow this guy up by blowing that guy up, and then we. Come up here and we have our item room right off the bat. And we can't really save too many rooms by uh, using bombs to get to our shop. But we definitely do want to do that. Curse room is non-negotiable here as well, basically. Little Brimstone is a huge pickup. I'm firing all the time. This is a solid get. Okay. Take ourselves to 20 cents. That did not work. <laughs> we have a really, like, at this point, decidedly above average uh, amount of damage. I, w I don't know if I'd go so far as to be like, oh, it's unreasonable. Like, we have an incredible amount of damage. No, we got, like, a really nice amount of damage that allows us to clear rooms without having the ever-present threat of our own, you know, mortality hanging above us. But we're not yet at the position where I'm like, we're never going to get hit for the rest of the game. And that's the kind of thing, you know, you want to get to uh, on, a, on a run like this. It may or may not ever happen. On most runs, it doesn't happen. You just kind of make it work regardless. But, uh... It may happen. It could. This run is definitely more of a candidate than any other one we've ever had. And every time I get hit with stupid damage right at the start, I'm like... Just don't throw your run away like that. You can get hit like that occasionally, but if you throw your run away, you're like the biggest idiot. So... As of yet, I, I'm not the biggest idiot. Perhaps an idiot. Not the biggest idiot. A tears upgrade is good. Uh, relax uh, apparently is a bad pill, based on the sound it makes when you use it. But uh, I, I would disagree. Keep in mind, are you a wizard? Is also a good pill. So I would say those pill uh, rankings are slightly arbitrary. Still have two bombs left. Perks. Lockdown. Bombs are key. 
and a luck up. Okay, so we basically got bombs or key. We could hold the perks, but it doesn't do anything for us. Like, it's not gonna... Like, if we get hit, it's taking Holy Mantle. It doesn't matter if it's one heart or less than one heart. Because it can't be less than one heart. As, uh, as the Lost, I think. Holy Mantle's just gone. This is bad. Very stupid of me to ever get hit there. We get a deal with the devil. Oh, this is gonna happen, isn't it? It's gonna be one of those. Oh, okay. Prepare yourself. We have no more to donate. We've given all we got, game. We've given all we got. Fate effectively gives us zero, so... I feel like it's uh, secondary in terms of my overall concern right now. Maybe we'll get a Perthra rune or something like that. gonna be done after this enemy so I mean it's a good proof that we're doing very well right now that we can do this room and, and basically have no problems associated with it don't think I even got hit shiny rock I mean again it's the kind of thing it might be better for me right now but with the lost we're really only looking for tinted rocks so what do we care you know maybe it, it has to be a I'm mean, sorry I didn't even mean we're not we're looking just for tinted rocks I mean we're only looking for one tinted rock mm -hmm. It could be good. Um, we're only looking for the Tinted Rock. Wanted to see if we had Leo. Um, we're only looking for the Tinted Rock that has a uh, small rock inside of it. And even then, it's it's a pretty uh, meager bonus. It would be great to have. I'd much rather have it than not have it. But it's pretty meager relative to what we would need to, you know, instantly feel great about our chances here. For example, maybe getting Dad's Key would make me feel better about that. We don't need Blue Candle anymore. It's not bad, but we don't need it. Let's get blank card, because I don't need blue candle anymore. We'll put our money where our mouth is. And um, I'll take blue map as well. Even though we have the mind, I'm just realizing now. So the blue map pickup was worthless, but we're not using our money for anything anyway, because the donation machine is broken. So we, uh, we can feel totally fine about that. The only reason I'll feel bad is if we get money equals power, and mostly I'll be like, oh shit, money equals power. That's awesome. Okay, save your bombs. This is an important... Important room for that. First one is just more bombs. So I'll tell you what, to speed up the whole process here, we'll throw that down. And we get more bombs. That was very stupid of me. Just leave. If we don't get a deal with the angel here, the hope that exists within my heart right now is going to start to slip away. But we will have a chance at Dad's Key. Forever and for always, even up until the room directly before the, the blue baby fight. We'll have an outside chance at Dad's Key. So, it's never truly over until it's actually over. But certainly, I'm looking at this and I'm like, man, it's got to be like a 20% chance. Okay, I've been hit. This could go wrong. It'd be a very disappointing end of this run, I'll tell you that much. Okay, we made it out. Take the Polaroid. Look at Boss Rush. If you get Dad's Key, you gotta take it. I mean, Dead Eye is awesome, but it's not worth the risk of, of having to do the room, unfortunately, because I actually think Dead Eye, much more so than Continuum, could actually be a, a game changing item in terms of our overall damage. But, um, you know, I'm looking at this and I'm saying we're fucked. We've got uh, an XL floor, which means that we only have one deal with the devil left. You, I'm sure you can tell from my voice. Look, I, I'm an adult. I live in the real world where, uh, that's, that sounds needlessly dismissive, I don't mean to offend anybody, but I, I, I have bigger problems in my life, even though my life is great, uh, I have bigger problems in my life than not being able to beat Mega Satan as the Lost, but this is starting to get to the point where I'm like, come the fuck on, this is like, the, the RNG, oh, now we have Zodiac, which is actually, or sorry, now we have Leo, which is actually kind of dangerous, but, um, the, the specifically, like, arbitrary RNG requirements to make this run work, it's not, um, you know, unlock uh, Super Meat Boy levels yet. That was ridiculous. But we're, we're kind of getting to the point where I'm like, there's got to be a better way. I don't know what that better way is, but surely there has to be something. I mean, we've been like exclusively playing as the Lost, apart from dailies, for like four days. And then, you, you know, if you have a run that's good enough to beat the Lost, you don't get the 
key pieces. If you have a run that's not good enough, then you get the key pieces easily. Like, it's just getting a little ridiculous, honestly. And the Fool card shows up, sadly, like one floor too late to let us get Deadeye. Again, please don't take this as me, you know, bellyache. Oh, Edmund, Tyrone, fix your game. That's not... I mean for the criticism to fall... Uh, not on deaf ears, not that I need like action to be taken or anything like that But rather I don't want you to be able to write this off easily as just like a childish complaint and at this point It's just like, you know life goes on. I'm not you know not gonna make rent as a result of this decision It doesn't have major cons consequences for me except it's frustrating and It doesn't feel <laughs> it doesn't feel right. It's that what I'm trying to get at I guess but this is you know once I get it, I'll be like, as soon as somebody comes to me with a complaint, I'll probably be the guy who's like, yeah, it's supposed to be tough. Because that's the guy I was about the loss to begin with when people were like, man, the loss is annoying. I was like, well, it's supposed to feel like an accomplishment. Mostly, I just wish we got some fucking deals with the angel instead of it being completely up in the air. If we get a deal with the angel here, we still have a chance. So, of course, I'm looking at this. One of these days, I'm looking at this, shaking that ass, but um, I'm looking at this and I'm saying if we get hit and it's not like right at the end of the fight, we should probably just pop the space bar and then, fuck those are tough to dodge. We should probably just pop the space bar, teleport out and grab one of those battery charges. Obviously now it's a moot point. No deal with the angel. I always feel like somebody's fucking me and it's someone I can't see like it's this is getting a little out of control hey on the bright side remember that mind is a terrible thing to waste joke which has probably been made like a thousand times well we haven't wasted the mind there's now almost no chance I mean, look at this shit. We're seven... I probably should have died there, to be honest with you. We're 17 minutes into this run. 17 minutes! We're on the cathedral as the lost. We were, like, fast enough to fight Boss Rush if Boss Rush showed up after the Isaac fight, probably. And yet, I'm disappointed in this lost run because of the fact that our arbitrary, you know, requirements have not been met. What a, what a shit show. So silly. Didn't have to be like this. One day it'll be over, and th this run will be in a museum somewhere. And this will be like the fucking Magna Carta, where people are like, how do they not think to make angel statues, you know, easier in the first? But I can't, that's something we hold to be self-evident now. Um, obviously I'm being a little facetious. Just a little, though. Uh, will blank card fool? I mean, why not blank card fool out of, like, every, every one of these situations? At this point, we find ourselves basically being like, well, it has to be Dad's key. And even then, like, what I resent about the situation is that with Dad's key, it's still going to be a challenge. Like, it's not like it's just going to be, oh, Dad's key, space bar, we win. It's going to be, like, Dad's key. Oh, and now just beat probably the second hardest boss in the game without getting hit. Maybe uh, Mega Satan might be harder than Hush. It depends on the run. Some runs are more well-suited to one. Some are more well-suited to the other. Mega Satan's tough because of the amount of shit that can spawn, like, right next to you. You know, various, like... Ah, they're both tough for similar reasons, I guess. Oh, blank card, two of diamonds. Incredible. Uh, now we got 46 cents. Might as well make it 92 cents in case we get money equals power. Again, not quite as bad because we have influence over it. Not quite as bad as, uh... Trying to get Cuba Meat or, you know, 4th level bandage, uh, sorry, Super Meat Boy or 4th level bandage girl, not Cuba Meat. Cuba Meat is ubiquitous, but annoying nonetheless. Man, even if he had hit me, I would have been fine, but it was still temporarily sort of scary. It's like our third pretty fly, unfortunately doesn't do anything for us. Oh, there's a dice room! I mean, the dice room, even if it's a... If it's a six, it doesn't do anything for us. Like a six or a one doesn't do anything for us. Right now, a four doesn't do anything for us. It, it, anything in this case simply refers to creating Dad's key, which uh, it can't happen. We could reroll consumables into Joker cards, fight an angel statue, and then get Dad's or uh, get um, the key pieces if we get exactly the same thing happening on the next floor. Obviously, a little unlikely, but it, it's a chance. 
it's a chance we don't have right now. And then you can see I'm, I'm like playing more recklessly now. It's a bad habit to get into, but... You know, how many times can you win as the lost, but not have the opportunity to actually complete the bullshit objective? That still remains, apparently, many, many times, unfortunately, for everybody involved, including Slash, especially myself. But also you, who have to suffer? I hope that's not the right word, but, you know, maybe it is. Suffer through watching me play as the lost over and over. Not as, um... Not as uh, difficult as it used to be, but... Certainly, you know, it's going to make Isaac seem like a walk in the park, probably. No wonder I've been having no problem surviving on the dailies lately. Well, more spirit hearts. Four room. Again, it does nothing, unfortunately. A two room would have been better, better to reroll all the consumables, but... Okay. I mean, we technically, we shouldn't have played it yet, but... Watch, I was going to say, watch that be an item, and then they'll be like, shit. Well, we definitely shouldn't have played it yet. Oh, well. It wasn't. In case you're just listening. In case you're just listening to my belly aching instead of uh, viewing it at the same time. There's no battery charges, so, I mean, we could teleport out. It still makes sense to teleport out if we get hit early. Luckily, we must have been saved by, like, a fly or something on both of those. Okay, there we go. We've been hit. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I probably should be dead. I'm going to go for it because... Because I want to. You know, I, I'm not going to try to justify it with any highfalutin uh, reasoning here. I'm frustrated. I'm taking it like a, like a responsible adult. But I am frustrated. I'm going to take out my frustrations on the game. And one of us is going to break. It's probably going to be me. But, uh... That's going to do it. Uh, we lived. We lived. We lived? Yo, do some more damage with little Brimstone. We can't afford for this dude to get like four attacks in every turn like he did last time. Good God. Okay, just wedge yourself up in the corner. Is that a sign? Is that a sign that this is the chosen run? You know, if we can't do that without teleporting out, we're certainly not going to be able to do Mega Satan. So, that's a nice little uh, vote of confidence there, but... Nope. 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 Ugh. Ugh. Are we... Do we have Lord of the Flies now? Maybe? I guess not. Oh, I can't even see where we're going, but I'm assuming it's this way. There's still a small chance. I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass. It's very small. Pokeball, I mean, it's not bad, of course. I'm not sad to have it necessarily, but we're not going to use it. Blank card has too many potential uh, repercussions for us. If we got blank card Joker, we might be able to teleport into the room twice and fight two angel statues. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I know if you like leave and re-enter a room with an angel statue, that's not even... Uh, nine lives, but I know if you leave and re-enter a room with an angel statue, sometimes the angel statue will refill itself. Blank card death just seems more appropriate uh, appropriate for rooms where we're definitely not going to get hit twice. On rooms where we may get hit twice, it seems to make more sense to go for broke, but hey, a damage upgrade. It's a start. I can't believe we didn't get hit once there. You should be gone. Nice. We're totally going to win again. Um, I mean, we may not, but there's a really good chance that we do. Might as well just use the death card, because I think uh, we're probably picking up the fool cards. I might just go for it. I know that's lazy. Oh, good. Two Mr. Megas in a row. I know that's lazy, but I'm also kind of like, I don't care. <laughs> just... <laughs> Whether we win or lose this one at this point means nothing. So, let's let's make it happen. And if we die, we die. I apologize for like that level of nihilism, but I mean, you can see why right now. You can see my character motivations for for being a little bit negative about the situation. I'm a very upbeat guy like all the time basically. 
I can be sarcastic, but I'm in a good mood, like, always. I'm still in a good mood, but I find my mood admittedly being slightly dampened by the situation we find ourselves in. And that's embarrassing in a way, because it's a video game, but at the same time... Like, I'm not even at salt levels, but... Normally in Isaac, I've got a smile on my face almost the whole time, so... We've reached a level of tedium that, that has turned that smile into, you know, like a 3 out of 10 scowl. But we are going to have another lost victory, and who would have thought that, you know, winning twice in the same day... I'm, I've recorded a couple today, but winning twice in the same day as the lost would, would put me in a negative situation. There you go. We did it again. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.